this is Cherry Enchantress with Pixie Dust Tarot, and this is your daily dust for Friday, May 5th, <laughs> if you're watching in real time, but it can also be for whenever you stumble upon it. It's also a timeless reading. So, um, May 5th is a Spanish-Mexican holiday celebration, and... On, in honor of that, I'm using lot, Loteria type cards. This is actually a cute little set that came out from Forever 21 that my daughter gave me. So we're just going to see what flies out. If anything flies out, we'll take, well maybe I'll just spread them out and take three. How about that one and that one and that one. Okay, let's see what we have. We have Laban. Bandera, which is the flag, La Sandia, the watermelon, and La Luna. All right. So the with the flag, I'm getting patriotism. You know, uh, kind, it kind of gives me a little bit of hero fence energy. You know, rituals and rites and and. Um, rules and laws and kind of mix of of hierophant and and justice card and pride a little bit of <laughs> the the strength card so it's kind of a mix of things to me it's like this pride I feel like it's interesting so there's some pride here in this particular day um, there could be some kind of food celebration. It doesn't have to be watermelon, but watermelon could be part of it, or or the watermelon drink. Like um, we, the beautiful drinks that they they make is like a watermelon drinks, limonada, horchata, drinks like that. Where it comes in this like very huge glasses here in Texas, <laughs> and and um, they just you know like very natural fruits. So I feel like. There's a natural food energy here and a pride energy. And then with the moon, um, you can I can take this moon as like a tarot moon, which is me, which means some kind of unknown quality, or the moon in Lenormand, which means recognition and honor. Yeah, so so the moon in the Lenormand is about creativity and also emotions and fame and honor and recognition and reflection. So I that I feel like that goes better with the flag and the watermelon. The watermelon can represent water in general, like water signs. It can represent emotion. It can represent um, fullness of fullness because the watermelon is one of those great fruits that can fill you up because of the water content and it's really good for you and especially in warmer months summer months it's a really good thing to eat <laughs> to help you stay hydrated and so um, so with these three things together I also I'm getting that um, it would be really cool to make a loteria um, Lenormand, Loteria Lenormand, isn't that, that'd be fun, and, and so I feel like then we would have like really specific meanings for each card, or each symbol, and the watermelon is, is one that I feel like generally evokes like good, good energy, like emotions for sure, high feelings of contentedness, fullness, sweetness, it's a little to me like ten of cups energy and ten of cups sometimes can also represent drinking too much <laughs> when you celebrate it could be a watermelon margarita <laughs> well whatever you you choose to do on this day there's to me this feels like a feeling of pride contentment F f like a fullness, a full feeling, recognizing, like a recognition, somebody recognizing you, or you recognizing the day, or you feeling recognized, feeling good about yourself. Yeah, and and I'm getting that pride thing, and also when you when I think of pride, sometimes I feel like um, you raise your chest up, you suck in your gut, just the kind of energy. It's just a pride like you lift your chin in in fact just those body movements can can change sometimes the way you even are thinking in the moment and try that someday 
like experiment with yourself like slouch and look down and frown and just even if you're having a good day if you change your posture and your body energy do you notice the difference in in your thoughts start to change a little bit you know and so if you stand up straight and suck in your gut stick out your chest lift your chin up smile <laughs> then suddenly things seem a little bit different. So sometimes it, uh, your body change, your, you know, changing your body position, your posture can do a lot. It can also represent um, doing activities that are fun, that make you laugh, um, or physical activities that release some good endorphins, um, walking, running, jogging, dancing, any of those things can be good, good things to do today to help lift your spirits or help you feel recognized or in the mood. But I, I think generally um, a feeling of pride is the overall energy here on this day. It's just, it's a nice happy day it's a nice easy day and when you if you don't have anything to eat go buy a watermelon and you will find you feel very full after eating some watermelon it um one of the things that i have been trying is is called a caloric density which means there are certain foods out there that are low in calorie but have a lot of density to them so that you feel full or faster and if you're interested in that you know then the fruits are definitely the the first thing on the list when you when you're doing caloric density kind of things you know melons especially and other fruits will make you feel like that feel full and satiated so so that's a good place to start but even if it's not you having a day have nothing you're not worrying about any of that especially if you're celebrating Cinco de Mayo wherever you are um, it's it's a feeling of of pride and recognition and feel good and maybe try a watermelon margarita this time <laughs> all right well I hope you like that Fechos to pixie dust